Hi Capricorns, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing much better because I have water. Yes, I have water. My pipes are fixed and my the water pressure is a little bit low, but it's okay. And I've heard other people saying the same thing, so it's okay. So anyway, this is the reading for Capricorns for February 22nd through February 28th, 2021, which means what? That this year is almost one six over, which is about 17%. 16.67% to be exact if, wait, here's again, no. But what does that really mean? Well, for me, 2021 has been just as crazy as 2020 was. But like I said, Aquarius, we entered the age of Aquarius. This is like Mother Earth is giving birth. She's having birthing pains. And if any of y'all have ever had a baby, you know it hurts. Also, so I think we're going through the throes of that. Also, the age of Aquarius is more about the age of knowledge. We've left the age of Pisces. We're entering the age, which is all emotion. And we're entering where we're going to have to use our brains. Instead of, I think it's going to be what I know. There, there's going to be a difference. And I think that as we enter the age of Aquarius, that's one of the reasons we started having a spiritual awakening. So one of the things I'd like to ask you, and I'm asking myself this too, is how can we make a difference to Mother Earth? Because not only is she going through these birth pains, but she's ill. And she's ill because we've been mistreating her so much. So what can we do? I don't think any one of us can do it all. But we can all make some small changes. Having a vegan, vegan meal once a week. Buying locally. Growing some of our own food. Cutting down on our driving. If we're only going to block, walking it. Unless it's freezing, of course. But just making better decisions. Turning down our heat. I did that one tonight. And I'm going to try to purpose to leave it down more. Anyway, just think about it. What little thing can you do? to help the mother. Okay, so the first card I get for y'all is the Two of Cups reversed. So turn it over. This can be entering into a new love, but I believe with everything else that I'm seeing that this is entering into maybe a new partnership or a new friendship. And you're gonna be meet someone that you can have a meeting in the minds with that it's going to compliment you. It's going to compliment, not in complimenting you, but compliment you. You're going to work well together. But right now, you've got the Eight of Cups. And by the way, you've got nothing but cups, which is all about emotions. So you are in your emotions right now. And this is the Eight of Cups. And this is about having to make good decisions and having to think through things and you've got all these choices going on, all these things to do and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed and you might be needing to go on a spiritual journey even. Maybe take a day this week or an evening and just spend some time with spirit and meditate and spend some time finding out where you need to be heading. Also, quit being spoiled. Turn this over. This card is, see, he's got three cups here, one being offered to him, and he's like, not the one I want. So you're not, you're thinking inside the box too much. You're seeing it as, this is what I have, and I'm just getting more of what I have, and I want mo something more. But you need to just stop and think about that. What is it that's really you need different than you've got? And if you really need something different, then look at that and work on it. You also get the Seven of Cups, sorry. And once again, it's about making good decisions, but this is castles in the air, your head's in the clouds. You're not seeing things for what they really are. Now, this was reversed, but you're not seeing things for what they really are. And you're gonna have to make that good decision. So you need to stop, get out of your emotions, and figure out what it is you really want. 
what it is you really need to be doing. And finally, we get the Ace of Cups. Turn it over. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This is about new beginnings. Once again, it can be about new love, but I think it goes back to that partnership. And because it's got these five streams coming out of it, whenever I see five, I think of like the pentacle, pentacle pentagram, whichever you want to word you want to use. Um, but that spirit, earth, air, fire, water. And so it tells me that you have what you need. You're going to be filled correctly. But you've got some work to get there with all these other things going. Decisions, spending some time with spirit, getting out of being spoiled. And I don't mean that mean. I get that card sometimes too. I don't like it. I don't like to be told that I'm being spoiled, but sometimes we are. That's a human condition. Now I'm going to pull a card from the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. And the card I get is the Littlest Fairy. Now this card says, appreciate the beauty and the value of even the smallest things. And I think that goes back to that being spoiled. You're overlooking those small things. You're wanting that big picture when you can have some minute details that just make you happy. For example, I ordered some baby rose quartz to go in the love perfume that I'm making. I didn't want the big ones that would just be too big. I want the little baby ones so that when I sell some, everybody will get two little rose quartz in their perfume. I'm not, that's not a plug. I'm explaining. I appreciated the little quartz, not the big one, even though I have big ones too. But you need to be looking to find the beauty and the joy in the small things because they are there. And I don't think you're seeing it right now. You're, see, you're being overwhelmed. And we all have been overwhelmed by this year and last year. But you can do it. Now I'm going to pull a card from the Oracle of the Fairies. And you know how I love poems in the inside of boxes. May you discover your fairy wings inside the sanctuary of your precious heart. That is saying that your body is a sanctuary because your heart is inside your body. So what does your sanctuary need right now? To, and you, remember, it's holding your precious heart. So your heart is precious. You are precious. And the card I get is find balance. You are to find balance. You're to find that grounding because then you're going to see the beauty in the minutia. You're going to see what decision to make. You're going to be able to find that time to be with spirit. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube page. Bye-bye.